So I get a lot of messages on Facebook, people asking me that know I plow, you know, I got to deal with six or seven miles worth of dirt road. They ask me how I did it. Well, when I got here in 2014, 2015, I used this standard, I believe it's a 52 or 54 inch plow blade. I bought this Honda Foreman in Wenatchee, Washington, which uh, it's been uh, it's been pretty good. This plow actually, it held up pretty good. We had to do a couple re-welds um, in rocks and stuff that's, you know, popping through the snow, replace the feet, I don't know how many times. I think that's, that's a standard thing. And after that, I think I was uh, trolling Craigslist and I came across a snow bear plow, which is a company that's out of Canada. This one was used. It's cut on the bob wire. I've had this one starting in the winter of 2016. And I use that for if I wake up and we've had, you know, 10 inches of snow, six, seven, whatever. And it, it's pretty been pretty good to me. Um, had a little bit of problem with the winch. Um, freezes up fairly regularly. And then this past year, one of my linchpins fell out. The plow actually caught on the ground. I was actually doing a favor for a neighbor and I snapped this. So I got a buddy who can weld anything and we're gonna see what we can do. He also, I didn't wanna buy the mount. So I put a, I put a two inch receiver on the front of my Ram 2500. Um, which he custom made for me um, for cheaper than the ones that Snow Bear was actually selling online. I'll let you look at that real quick. So here it is. It just slides into the two inch receiver on the front of my truck. And then these just basically slide, plow slides into them, male and female ends. And, uh, I'm good to go. Um, and, you know, I use this for probably, well, I guess, three winters between this and my plow, and I did fine. Um, but then I was, I decided I was going to, uh, I was going to re some trade my old mule in and uh, get a new one. So when I reached out to the Kawasaki dealer, I, I uh, had them throw in this. People that plow their own snow know how how uh, how fun it is, and like me personally, I can't wait every year. Where I live, my 4,000 feet elevation, I start getting snow in you know September, October. November it's here to stay so I took this bad boy out and within the first five minutes the feet fell off and the feet are secured in here not only is it incredibly hard to put the feet back in when you're out actually plowing most of the time when you lose feet you don't know you've lost them because you lose them one at a time you can't find them and of course I didn't find my feet until melt Shit, I don't even know where they are now Found this one in spring, all bent to shit. So I'm plowing, order more feet for it. Couldn't get them on, finally got them on, fell off. Called it a day on the feet. And of course at that point, if you're not real careful, your plow starts popping rocks. You know, even with a foot or two of snow condensing down and 
you would think that you wouldn't get access to them, but you always hit something that you don't know is theirs. Many times as I plowed my roads, there's still things out there I don't know. So I wound up bending knees, which obviously is a pain, in, makes a big difference, it's a pain in the ass, because then it turns your plow angle. Even when you got straight, you still got some lean to it. Bent, bent this, and, and you know, I'll, I'll give, I'll give KFI the benefit of the doubt and just say they're a decent plow, but they're not a decent plow for what I have to do. And, and you know, I keep, I keep my speeds, you know, five, six, seven miles an hour, depending on if it's my driveway or if it's the road to, you know, to town. Um, and, and again, I don't live, I don't live, um, where a normal person lives. I need a lot more from my plow. Which is surprising that the the little Honda plow was so good to me. You know, a little $250 plow. I didn't have any issues with it other until like two years in. And I, you know, you use it twice as much because you can only plow, you know, what, 40 inches of snow at a time. So you're making five, six, seven sweeps. So, you know, Unfortunately, I'm gonna to have to use this this year and I haven't figured out, you know, what I'm gonna do. Put the new feet on and use locking nuts in the last one and still, they still came off. They just kind of rattled themselves off. So, you know, the only good thing I can say about KFI plow is it's really easy to put on. Whereas my Honda plow is a, is, is a pain in the ass. Um, so I'm going to change out the bracket and start again. Okay. And they sent me this, this winch, which I don't have a whole lot of complaints with. Um, seems to do its job from what I've asked it to. I haven't been stuck, so I, I don't know. Um, you know, a little bit about the mule when I got it. I paid right around... I don't know, 10 grand for it. So I didn't want to put too much more into it last year just because this is a toy and I have a limited amount of funds I'm allowed to use on my toys. So I kept the stock tires thinking I was going to have to chain them and I didn't. And I plow uphill when I can. And I was able to plow uphill with this thing four or five degree hills. My driveway is probably seven for about 300 yards. We didn't have any problems. Um, I'll take it out in the snow, put the snow on the ground, and I'll punch through and I'll fill the back up with firewood. You know, all these water bottles from driving up into the mountains with the kids on the weekends while we can. You know, I don't think you can go wrong with the, the Kawasaki mullets. Kawasaki has the best transmission, in my opinion for side-by-sides on the market. So it was a no-brainer. This is actually the second one I had. The first one was a 2005 and I kept it for I don't know, 14 years before I finally got this. If I had to, if I had to complain about something, I would probably say it's the lighting system. So, really, those of you with mules know that this, this isn't very bright. So when it's January and it's snowing, you can't see shit. So I added this, I think it's, I don't know, 33 inch. So I added, I added this 32 or 33 inch light bar. I'll insert a picture right here so you can see it actually in the snow. Um, I think I paid about 80 bucks from it for it from uh, North 40. The only issue with that that I was having was on really, really cold, cold days, it would actually stall out my side-by-side -side the battery draw. So, but it is what it is. I'm going to add a roof this year. Well, either a roof or probably a windshield first. Once again, I'm only allowed to spend X amount of dollars on my toys. I think a windshield probably be first just because when it's 10 degrees outside and you're 
you're plowing snow and it's hitting you in the face, it, uh, it makes it uh, slightly less enjoyable.